So I have covered this XP gear and gold farm already, and I've also seen many others have covered it too. But guys, literally every video I have seen on this same farm, people are instructing others to do it one specific way. Where in fact guys, there is in my opinion a better and more efficient way in using this dungeon reset farm. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so first things first, if you haven't completed this game's campaign yet, that's what I suggest you do before any XP farm, any gold farm, any gear farm. Complete the game's main story first, because in doing this guys, you unlock that world tier 3. And this only happens upon you completing the game's story campaign. World tier 3, if you don't know, is where the best gear drops for your build, so keep that in mind. So for sure, for sure, for sure people, I suggest you complete the main campaign before farming such. But hey, who am I to tell you how you play, I'm just here to guide you. So either way guys, if you have or haven't completed the game's campaign yet, this is still a great way in farming that amazing gear, legendaries included, gold and XP, which will give you those precious levels. So how this works is, and by the way, this can be done with any dungeon, but we will use this particular dungeon here because for me it's the best right now. So this dungeon is called the Anika's Claim, and it's located right here in Malnok. Now when you first get to this area, there is a stronghold here, with a recommended level of, I believe, around 15. Uh, this needs to be taken care of before you can use this dungeon. But how this works is pretty simple. You enter the dungeon, you do a full circle of the first part, kill those enemies collecting that loot, and then you simply leave the dungeon. Then, guys, you quit out of the game. Loading back into the game and re-entering the dungeon, all the enemies and loot will have respawned. And you can just rinse and repeat this cycle and earn levels, gold, XP, gear, you name it, guys. Now, you can do this over and over and over. Now the method I am seeing people which I initially said to do was to just do a full circle of the first area within this Annika's Claim dungeon then leave the dungeon before quitting out the game and loading it back up. But in actual fact guys you should be doing the entire dungeon because after the first circle has been done once you enter this door another path of a couple more circles will be available for you to farm. Also full of high level enemies, chests, great loot, plenty of gold and crazy XP gains on top of that. But also guys, the boss of this dungeon is arguably much much easier than the other groups of enemies found lurking in this dungeon. So you may as well take him out too, just for the XP. Then what you want to do guys is, is simply leave the dungeon. Once you've left this dungeon, you're outside that dungeon door. Simply quit out of your game and then load it back up. You will respawn in outside of this dungeon, simply re-enter the dungeon and repeat this farm. For me, it's a much, much, much more efficient way in both getting those gear drops, that gold, that XP over this first standard method but yeah guys use this how you want do one circle complete the entire dungeon but for me right now it's still the best xp gear and gold farm in the game guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one